For Thursday, December 1st, 2022. I'm Fran. Today's top story highlights our cheer team as they prepare for the state competition. Hi, I am Malayla Muhammad and I am the captain of Horn Lake High School's cheer team. This is my co-captain, Destiny Withers, and this is my other co-captain, Mia Mosley. We are going to compete at the state competition December 10th for the first time in eight years. We will be competing in Division 6A All Girls Competition Game Day. All right, we will um, leave December 9th for some preteen bonding, and we will be back December 10th, late December 10th. We decided to bring back an old segment called Get to Know You, where we ask a series of questions to get to know teachers and students around the building. Good morning, guys. We are here with Mr. Maddox. He is our one of our new assistant principals, and we haven't gotten to know him much on camera, so we're going to ask him a few questions. All right, Mr. Maddox, if you could move to the happiest place where you could imagine, where would that be? The happiest place I could imagine would be Starkville, Mississippi. Hell State. Hell State. When you think about getting older, do you imagine being happy? Of course. Who doesn't? I mean, that's a pretty, pretty easy question. Are there certain foods that make you happier? Oh, fried chicken, pizza, ice cream, just your basic, you know, terrible foods. Um, anything that's not good for you. I love. also love vegetables, though. Big vegetables guy. Vegetables make you happy. That's good. What's the most unlikely place where you've made a friend? Wow. Most unlikely place where I've made a friend? Um, I can make a friend anywhere. Um, I, wouldn't think, I wouldn't say any place is unlikely you can make a friend. So, yeah, that's my answer. What was your parents' generation happier? Oh, was your parents' generation happier than your own? Yes, because they did not have social media. Mm. Didn't have social media, didn't have YouTube, didn't have... They went outside. They went outside. They had a good time. Yeah. What is the difference between pleasure and happiness? Um, I would say happiness is just your overall mood. Pleasure is what you get from doing something. So it could be just, be just circumstantial, I guess. When you leave your friends, are you energized or exhausted? This is a good one. Mm, this, is, this is a good one. It kind of tells if you're uh, introverted or extroverted. So I'm usually exhausted uh, after I've spent a lot of time with people. Like when I get home from the end of the school day, I just want to sit there and be by myself. So. Social battery is gone. I feel you. Have you ever bought anything from a TV commercial because you thought it would make your life better? Okay, so great question. Um, so those little things you can cook the eggs in? Yes. <laughs> no. Did it make your life better? It did make my life better. I didn't buy it from the commercial, but I went out and got the same thing. So basically, yes. Okay, so today it was supposed to be the girls versus the boys basketball teams, but none of them showed up or they're just too scared to do it. So today we're doing Coach Potts versus Big John in horse. See, what's going to happen right here? This is going to be a game, but it ain't going to be pretty. It ain't going to be pretty at all. No dunking. How you feel? It's one-on-one. -on -one. 
Yeah. No, let's. Yeah, no. It took me a little longer than it should have taken me. I mean, you know, it's my pupil, my understudy. So it took a little longer, but you know, he put up a good fight today. It took me a little longer to make some shots that I usually would make a little bit earlier. But um, we'll try this thing again. I'll get a little bit more practice. We'll move forward. How do you feel about losing? Shoot, I just lost. Shoot, that game was long. <laughs> but shoot, we're going to try it again. We'll try it again. Good, good friendly game of competition. Yeah. This week's feature vocabulary words are critical, cumbersome, and deficit. Critical, expressing adverse or disapproving comments or judgments. Cumbersome, large or heavy and therefore difficult to carry or use. Slow or complicated and therefore inefficient. Deficit, 
the amount by which something is too small. Now time for today's announcements. Pay attention, there's a lot of important information we need you to know. Writing scholarships are now available to students. Visit rnwriting.com for more information and check out the posters at the Counselor's Complex. Seniors, it's now time to start sending us pictures for our senior video. You can send pictures and videos to our email account, hornlaketv at gmail.com. That's it for today's episode. Here at Horn Lake, we're better students always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.